The rich culture of Polynesia has brought us hula dancing, Mai Tais, and tiki bars. And there's a 3,000 year old Polynesian trend that's just now crashing our shores. It's called kava. Teresa Strasser is diving into the benefits of this super shrub, and that's our featured story at the top of the list. This tasty looking concoction is called kava, and it's the ancient health trend making waves across the country. Kava is a ceremonial tea. It's made from a pepper plant, Piper mythisticum, which actually means enchanting or intoxicating pepper. It comes from places like Fiji and Hawaii. It was drank there for thousands of years, ceremonial rituals to achieve a higher level of consciousness. Chase Brendel, owner of the Lacuna Kava Bar, wants to show us the secrets of this super tea, starting with its nerve calming properties. I've read that kava is like nature Xanax, is that true? Yeah, it's actually been clinically proven as effective as some Western medications at relieving anxiety. A lot of people come in on their lunch break to grab one for a stressful job, or maybe afterwards just to relax. But it's specifically for anxiety. No, not necessarily. Anxiety, socially as a recreational beverage, like I said, to connect with other people around a bowl of kava. Mm -hmm. um, as a sleep aid, a lot of people use it. Can I drive after drinking this? That's the best part. There's no hangover and you're not intoxicated. A surprising twist is next on our list. The more often you drink kava, the more effective it is. It does have a reverse tolerance, which is really unique. Your body's not receptive or sensitive to it yet when you first have it. So you'll wanna have like three to four drinks. We have a special drink called the Whiteout, which is four servings in one glass. And you wanna start with a little bit more and then you can begin to taper that off as your body becomes accustomed to recognizing it. You seem like a happy guy. Do you drink the kava drink stuff all the every day? day? <laughs> we'll wrap our list with all the ways you can consume kava aside from the popular tea which is brewed from the kava root. You can get it in instant powder form that you can just mix with water. You can get little tincture extracts. Rhino dart, we also have that available. Rhino dart is concentrated kava and it has a kick. Chase recommends adding a few drops to water or any other beverage. Rhino dart. Yeah. Quick acting gets the job done. And you can just drop it in any drink you want. You can find kava in all its forms online and at your local health food store. Chase's last bit of kava knowledge, know the kava toast. Yeah, one of the things that we do here is we say bula, which okay. is Fijian for like cheers or namaste. It's recognition of the life in someone else. And it's a great way to connect the whole bar. So anytime anybody says bula here, everyone raises their glass together as one common community and we cheers. So bula. Bula. Did I do that right? You did it. Nailed it. And Bula to learning the basics of kava on the top of the list.